Hey everyone, it's Corianne here and today we're going to be working on your candy filled chocolate Easter eggs. So we've got this kit put together here with Pinnovate for you and it comes with everything that you need to get started. We've got molding wafers, really fun candy, some tools that you need to work with the chocolate. The only supplies that you need to have at home are two microwave safe bowls as well as a frying pan. So go gather all of the things that you need and let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to do is separate your chocolates as shown. Then you're going to take each bowl individually and microwave at 20 second increments, stirring the chocolate in between with your spatula. You really wanna make sure that you're stirring the chocolate in between, even though at first it feels like you're just stirring the solid chocolates, but this is going to ensure that you have even heat distribution and that your chocolate melts nicely with no clumps. So this is after two increments of the 20 seconds and you can see that it's melting but there's still some clumps. You want to make sure that you're just stirring in between and letting the heat melt the chocolate as much as it can naturally and then you'll stick it back into the microwave and do another 20 seconds. So I've got my chocolate melted and ready to go here. It's really important to remember that when you're melting chocolate, only to do so right before you're ready to mold it. When it's sitting out on the counter and not being used, it will solidify within about 15 minutes of just sitting there. So it's not a big deal if that happens. You can always pop it back in the microwave and remelt it, but it's best just to melt the chocolate right before you're ready to use your mold. Now the next step is to fill your mold with the chocolate and you're just gonna go ahead and pour it in, just like this. And it's okay, you just kind of eyeball it, put about, I'd say, a tablespoon or two into each of the cavities here. And I like the dark chocolate most, so I'm gonna do two of my eggs as the dark chocolate and then I will do the other with the white. And then when that's done, you're going to take your mold and you wanna tap it and kind of just smooth it all out on the bottom there. You can even wiggle it around a little bit if you wanna just evenly distribute some of that chocolate on the bottom. And then you're going to take your paintbrush and you're going to brush the chocolate up the sides of the mold. And at this point when you're doing the brushing, you might find that you need to add a little bit more chocolate and you can do that. Now that the chocolate is all brushed up the sides, you can see there's no major gaps or anything. Some of it's already starting to harden already, but we're gonna go and pop this into your fridge or your freezer, whichever one, for about 10 minutes. My mold is now out of the fridge, and what I'm doing is I'm gonna go back in with my chocolate and add a second layer just around the edges here to build it up, because you can see that in some areas, it kind of slides down. It doesn't settle as evenly on the sides as it does on the bottom. At this point, you may also have to reheat your chocolate, which is totally fine. Pop it back in the microwave for um, you know, 20, 30 seconds, and then you can go and just add that extra layer onto the sides here. And because you're working with warm chocolate and then refrigerated chocolate um, you're going to notice that it's going to turn hard right away and you know it's not the most um, pretty sight when you do this but again it's just you know the inside of the egg so you don't have to worry about it being pretty because it's the outside that everyone's going to be seeing so just go around build that up again and then once you're done with this layer pop it back into the fridge for about another two to three minutes and then you will be ready to remove the shells from the mold. Now that the chocolate has completely set, it's time to remove the shells from the mold. Now don't be afraid, a lot of people are afraid of breaking them, but you'll be surprised how robust they are when they come out. So you're just going to gently pull back and pop it right out. And there you go, you've got a chocolate shell. So for this next step here, I've got my frying pan on a very low heat setting. And the purpose of this is that we're gonna be taking half of the shells that we've created, and we're just gonna clean them up a little bit because they can come out with some jagged edges here. So we're just gonna to wanna to smooth those down a little bit. When you place your shell onto the frying pan, it's really important. You just wanna put it on just for a little bit, enough that the heat can just make that smooth enough. If you leave your shell on the frying pan, obviously it's going to melt away on you, but just touch it down 
really briefly and that's going to help to just smooth out those edges like that now it's time for the fun part which is where you get to fill all of your eggs with the candy now we've provided some uh, assortments of candy here that you can use to fill them up but obviously if you have anything around your house or if you want to go you know to bulk barn and pick up some extra candy you can do that too this is a really fun part that you can have your kids do as well they would love to do that i'm sure and you're just going to take whatever you have and fill them right up. Now you can really load these up with the candy as long as you are leaving just enough room right around those sides there so that you'll have enough room to just put that next shell right on top of it when it's time to go and seal them up. All right, so we're back over at our heated frying pan. Again, it's on a low heat and we're gonna be adhering the shells together just like this guy. So we've already done this heating process for the first shell, which is the one that holds all of your candy. So then you're going to take your coordinating shell, put it on there just briefly, and you're going to use that melted chocolate portion to put your chocolate egg together. And there you go. You've got your chocolate egg with the candy inside. Now we definitely want to see your guys' eggs when they're done, so be sure to tag myself at Cookie Couture as well as Pinnovate so that we can check them out, share them, and we hope that you guys have so much fun. Thanks so much.